Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is vRealize Operations Initial Configuration as part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So in the previous video we did an initial install of uh, vROPS. I'm now going to hit the actual IP address of the vROPS appliance. So this was uh, .31 in my example. Um, the first time we use this we get a, some form of configuration wizard. So I need to read through the license agreement and make sure I understand and agree to that. Um, I've then got the option of continuing with an evaluation key or putting in a product key. I'm just going to use an evaluation for now. And then I can optionally join, opt in or out of the customer experience improvement program. And once I've picked those settings I can now finish and it will perform the next set of configuration steps. So we arrive at the initial quick start screen. This is where most people jump to or get to when they log into the appliance directly. And you'll see four main sections for optimizing performance, optimize capacity, troubleshoot, and manage configuration. And down at the bottom there are a few more sections which can be expanded out, but that is the main uh, screen that you get to first time. Uh, once you've had a look around that, we should probably go to the administration section. This is a one-time thing normally, just to set up any defaults. And on the left-hand side, you can see we have some cloud ac accounts. We've got a Unicorn adapter. I should point out that Unicorn is a high uh, volume or high frequency HTTP stack. It's used for low latency, high frequency HTTP connections. And it's perfect for gathering uh, information and statistics from uh, collectors and other parts of the environment. So Unicorn is the technology we use for gathering information. Um, you'll see also here we can do some things like service discovery. If you put in details here, we can analyze the machines and, and, and analyze what is connected to what uh, and give you an actual uh, a map of how an application is wired together. Um, what we can do with here is add more accounts. So we can add another connector for a vCenter server, AWS or Azure. Um, and depending on what adapters you've got installed, there's another adapter there for vSAN. But everything is essentially an adapter. It's just a way of getting information into vROPS. And you can add more here by using a management pack. These are some that are already installed. So there's one for vSphere installed and activated. vSAN operations manager for Azure. VMware vRealize uh, login site. Automation 8. Ultima and then Automation 7. Uh, vRealize assessments, they are a set of reports, we'll cover those in a different video. Um, application management, service discovery management, that module we looked at before, uh, a management pack for AWS, and an operating system stroke remote service monitoring. So again, there are all the management packs that are currently installed. We can add more by clicking this button and browsing to a pack file, P-A-K, uh, and any we install would be done through there and added to that dashboard there. So that's how we add management packs. You may also want to have a look in this configuration section. This is the global configuration for the appliance and all, all settings. So maybe just go through each of those in turn, make sure they're all set to something sensible. You can do access control. And again, things like certificates and credentials and global settings and licensing also in that section there. Again, maybe just have a quick browse around there and look through there, make things, make sure things are sensible. And then there's also a place for auditing and a support, a place for uh, support. So all of the, the main global settings are in this administration section. As I say, maybe just go through it once and you don't really need to go in here day to day. And then back to the main dashboard. If you want to get back to administration, just click it on the display there. That takes you back to where we started. So that was the administration section. And that was vRealize Operations Initial Configuration as part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. Um, thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful.